Hey guys, what's going on? Cody from Mavapes Easy here, and I got a new video for today on a new kit that we just got in. It is the Aegis Mini Kit. So this is a kit from Geek Vape. Uh, this is a smaller version of some of the stuff they already have out, like the Aegis Legend. It's a two battery, 200 watt mod. If you haven't seen that, check it out on our channel. I will not leave a link in the description below, so just go find it. <laughs> um, so this is the device here. It comes in a set. It comes in like a box, like that. But pretty much it's stop. Uh, it's uh, the device and the tank. So what you're going to get with it is the Cerberus Super Mesh Tank. We've already got Double Max, Mash Mech, no, no, with all Max Mesh, Double Mesh, Triple Mesh, but Super Mesh. Super Mesh. <laughs> so this is the tank right here. Um, pretty much it comes with two of these coils, uh, these are 0.3 ohm coils, and they're good between 30 and 45, best between 30 and 40, so like, way not good enough for me, because I like warm, but, uh, pretty much what you do is, you just unscrew that, that's how you'll fill it up, with every other tank, you just unscrew the bottom down here, now I'm pretty sure that the Cerberus will use a Baby Beast coil, don't quote me on that, but I think it will, um, the device itself, we'll get into that. This is the, the box for it, of course. Uh, so the big deal with the Aegis is it's the most durable mod with extreme water shock and dust protections. The ultimate super mesh coil included in the kit provides maximum flavor and large vapor production, even at 30 to 40 watts, apparently. So I'll let y'all be the judge and jury on that. Um, so, it's got the AS80 chipset in it, the AS80, I think they use in the Nova, or well, they use a better one in the Nova, but the AS80 chipset is pretty nice, it, it looks clean, um, it's got a built-in battery with 2200 mAh in it, so not necessarily an 18650, but a pretty decent amount of battery life for a single battery device. Um, if you're running it at like 40 or 45, you'll probably get a whole day out of it. If you're running it at 80, like I am with this Freemax uh, mesh pro tank on it, you're probably going to get like 4 hours out of it. Um, it's extremely durable. You can, like, bang this thing against the table. And it's supposed to still work. It's not working. Just kidding. It's working. So, we'll take a hit off of it. You know, the hit at 80 watts isn't that bad, especially with that tank on it. So the only problem is the tank is, like, just as big as the mod, which is pretty crazy. The mod is very small. Um, it'll fit in your hand. It's actually very ergonomic. Um, I like the, the leather on the back of it. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, it's waterproof. It's docs. Ugh, I cannot speak English. Waterproof, dustproof, and shockproof. That's what it is. Um, the extreme durability is the big thing with these. Uh, the chipset is very nice, though. Like I said, the screen's very clean. It's pretty. Um... Overall, I think this is a great kit for somebody that just wants something to carry around in their pocket or maybe a new vapor. This wouldn't be a bad way to go, um, especially being internal battery. You can just plug it in whenever you need to. Pretty much the tank itself or the tank box comes with the tank. Um, it's got O-rings and then a spare coil and a spare glass. Now the glass on it that comes with it is a bubble, but the one that comes in the box spare is a straight glass. Um, in, your device, or in your box here, you get a charge cord, and then you also get um, a spare, where's it at, this piece right here. Basically what this is, this is what makes it waterproof, so it literally like sinks down into here, that's where your micro USB is. If this comes off, it is not waterproof anymore. Really, I wouldn't dunk this thing in water. I would say more spill proof. I don't think soaking this thing in water, you know, it's like IP6 or 7 rated. So I would say like, you know, they say like 10 or 20 meters of water, but I definitely wouldn't just drop it in water just to see if it works. Um, I would say it's more like if you, you know, juice leaking into it or, you know, accidentally dropping it in a puddle or dropping your drink on it or something like that. Um, that's pretty much everything I've got for this device. If you have any questions about it, feel free to leave them in the comments below and be sure to get back to you. All right. Peace.